and your eyebrow hairs grow as well. Do you ever do you get that? Eyebrows. You do. It's disgusting. Long wispy eyebrows. <laughs> Turning into some kind of mad scientist or something. It's rank. Right. having a bit of a down day, I come up here, spend some time with the waving cat. You see your blue eyes See my blue, my blue eyes? No, it's not the tights, it's the extra rugby sock I put in when you weren't watching. Two is a standard. Welcome to uh, Saturday's Vernal, we're going to switch it up today. The reason being, the truth is that the footage we got from Richard and Victoria was crap, but what we're going to tell you is that we're doing a two-week recap. Join us as we go through the first two weeks of Vernals, pick out some of the points of things that they've been doing that perhaps they haven't spoken about, and kind of explain how and why they might be relevant to you guys. Okay, so one of the things that guys are obviously doing is a lot of exercise. They're smashing themselves most days. It's Saturday morning, it's uh, 6.15 a.m. I'm gonna scream this place down like a bitch. Uh, 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 uh. Obviously the food is the thing that unlocks the results, but it's the exercise that gives people the reason and the motivation to keep the food clean. No, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that, like something off, uh, off of Dallas. Hi. All right, breakfast exercises, very important. There's two reasons. The first reason, which I think is a smaller reason, is that it gets your heart rate up twice a day. So, you know, you get calories burned a second time. Most important, though, is that it teaches you to do exercise on your own. When the challenge finishes, you have to find the willpower to do it on your own. Five more minutes, and I'll go and do the bloody burpees. It's late, it's 10 o'clock. I've just remembered I've not done these goddamn breakfast exercises. Rank. That wasn't fun. I like to come up here on uh, when I get a break from CF. If your social circle is one of wreck heads and smash heads, it's just not going to work. If you see what Richard's done, he's introduced a lot of his friends to exercise. I just keep bringing more and more of my mates into circuit factory. It's going to make it easier. Now, Victoria, she spends most time with her husband. He also exercises. They both train at the same class. Who you have in your social circle is going to determine where you go with your fitness. The more people I've got involved with in, in my social circle, the easier it is for me to maintain the lifestyle I want to lead. Willpower is like the energy bar on Street Fighter. No one has an infinite supply of willpower. And if you put yourself in those environments again and again and again, your willpower gets chipped down to zero. Ken dies. Food choices. Yes! Massive. Yes! Really important. Yes! One, two, three, four, five, six for j Sound coming through? <laughs> Thought it was. The sound was fixed downstairs. I just was enjoying saying the word vagina. Almost everything they've eaten has been whole, real, natural. Everything is grown or from a field or from the sea, cooked, killed, cooked, killed, grown, harvested, killed, cooked, whatever. Got dry skin on my elbow. Making me feel sick. They both make meals that you can buy in packets. Vicky makes muesli. Oh, it's mixed seeds, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. She also makes like seafood medley. Richard makes a stew. She made a shepherd's pie. They're all healthy, natural, whole foods. So you see very little stuff come out of boxes. Hopefully something you're seeing, particularly with a lot of Richard's food, is that he's repeating a lot of his meals. My life is just one big habit. Chicken, broccoli, sweet potato, broccoli, chicken, sweet potato. The same I have every night. Chicken, broccoli, sweet potato. Nothing changes, routine stays the same until the end of the challenge. Well, for good. <laughs> people who get in great shape, a lot of the time they're very regimented with their food. They do tend to eat the same thing at the same points in the day. Okay, they make food very easy for themselves. I do get bored of these some, some days. But today is not that day. Hi. 
If you try and stick pleasure into every mealtime, you try and get the most variation out of all your food, you really only set yourself up for failure. Whereas if you structure your food so it's very easy to obtain, you know what you've got to do at a certain point every day, and perhaps change your mentality towards food, that little bit to say, I'm going to eat to live rather than live to eat, that is only going to benefit you in and where you go in this journey.